All right, everybody, this is your host, Paul Gaff, and this is my Xbox 360 dashboard, and it is New Year's Day. It is just in the afternoon, my time frame, as I click record. Had a wonderful time. Hope you did as well. Had a midnight barbecue with the family, watched fireworks from the terrace, had just a good old time. Sleeping in, waking up, doing the chores of the morning for the house and the family and everything. Having leftovers as like a brunch, breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it. Got my coffee right by my side, even though it's after noon. It still feels like a morning coffee to me, and I don't mind. Hmm. There is no script today. I promised you NCAA and New Year's, and I'm coming through with that promise. Always come through with those promises. Now, we got some Madden we got to look at later. Maybe not today. We got some Madden to finish up. But uh, I told you I want to hit some NCAA, and you seem to like that, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So, no script. Just uh, go with the flow. Now, here's the way we're going to try to keep things on schedule, on pace. Hope to keep you interested, your attention locked on this video. Even go ahead and watch it at two times speed or whatever. Just, like, skip through the parts you like. But... I'm so glad to be spending time with you. I'm so glad that you've decided to spend some of your day with me. Thank you so much, crew. We're over 150 subs on this channel. Like, is that a giant number? No, but it means a lot to me. Like, I am so thankful that so many people, like, understand and appreciate and, and enjoy this channel and interact in the comments and everything. So, look, here's my, like, thought process going into this. Um... Let's watch the opening cinematics, if there are any, because I believe 07 doesn't have an opening cinematic. Let's maybe look at, like, the 99 Club or whatever, like, the highest-rated players, because uh, you can get really bogged down, like, looking at multiple players and going digging for players. Um, but let's just kind of, like, did a, do a quick little overview. Maybe who are the top quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, whatever? Is there, like, a top defender, you know? Because I, I think it's also here in this game. P. Willie, Patrick Willis. You know, the 49ers, he's, I think he's like a 98 overall in this game. Like, if there's like a star defender here or there. Uh, but one of the things that I also want to bring up before we get in here is like Aaron Donald. I don't remember. Is it NCAA 10, 9, whatever it is. Um, he's like a 70-something overall. Like a 78 overall, whatever. Um, two years before he was drafted. I don't know what he is like the year before he was drafted, whatever. But you get like those moments where it's like also like uh, Travis Kelsey. Um, one of these games, Travis Kelsey is like a 78 or an 82 overall or whatever. It's like, there's some big time players that just buried. So let's not waste time trying to find like future stars and how low they were rated. Um, let's just look at like who the game has as college stars. Um, let's go to like play now and see what the presentation is like. The pregame presentation, the graphics. Let's kind of check some of the gameplay, like some classic football plays, uh, power, counter, option, play action, you know, like look at some defense or whatever. Um, use the Ask Corso because I've been listening to uh, Lee Corso and all that. Maybe we get to a point where we can see like a halftime show or something. Maybe play the games on like two-minute quarters or something so we can get to like the end of the game. Uh, just have some fun. Uh, so, like, kind of rated on its presentation, its visuals, like, both, like, the the videos and stuff. Um, and then, like, its gameplay. Like, is it fun? Uh, to me, it's, like, always the factor. It's, like, which one's the best? The best, Paul, the best one. What's your favorite? It's, like, okay, I get it. I mean, everyone wants to, to have their tier list and stuff. But to me, it's just, like, in the end, is the game fun? Is it worth playing just for fun? Like, you know, this is not the best one. I'm going to play the best one. It's, like, okay, cool. I mean, you do you. But to me, it's just, like, is it fun? And that's going to be like a big rating for me. And uh, Dynasty mode, all of that. Like, there's like all the details of scouting and, and like proposing to prospects and all that kind of stuff. But it's like, look, if the game isn't fun, if it's not enjoyable, I'm not even going to mess with uh, Dynasty mode, right? So the other thing is I uh, have done to the best of my ability downloaded Operation Sports rosters. So we should have main rosters, all right? Let's jump in. Is it Leo 7? HD, baby. EA Sports. It's in the game. I remind you, like, if you're coming from CRT TVs, 
playing on the PS2, yeah, they had, there was support for HD, but only like 720p or whatever, uh, not 1080. So you get this like full HD experience that we're so accustomed to now in 2023. I mean, we're looking at 4K and all this other stuff, 5K, I don't know what. Um, but these games, man, that meant something. Sign in my profile. Yeah, see, there's no intro in this game. Disco Duro. Oh, yeah, you see, I live in Peru. I got my RGH Xbox all set up. Loading user profile, whatever. So the volume is turned down so it's not blaring in our face. There's no big intro. So let's go to the rosters. And right trigger controls everything instead of left and right trigger. And let's go. This is the first college football game on what was then called the next gen console. So all players, all NCAA, and the 99 Club, Joe Thomas, future Hall of Fame offensive lineman, not just great in college, but in the NFL, Adrian Peterson. AP, but really got the nickname AD for all day. Adrian Peterson, impact player, I would think so. 99 overall. Troy Smith, quarterback of, of the Ohio State University. Right? <coughs> 99 overall. Does he have big speed? No, it's 80. He doesn't have Lamar Jackson and big speed. He's a 99 overall. Strength is whatever strength is. Agility is like sub-90. Acceleration is freaking on the verge of being 70-something. Awareness, though, 95. They think he had 95 awareness to play the position at least at the college level. And then he was just on the verge of like the 80s to 90s. He's just like on that cusp, right? And senior redshirt, so the end of his progression. There's no more progression after this, so... I don't know. To me, it seems like there's some warning signs there. It's like he doesn't have outstanding throwing power. He doesn't have outstanding accuracy. He doesn't have as outstanding athleticism. Like, he's athletic. It's just like, like, 100 times more athletic than I think I'd ever be or whatever, you know? Uh, but just when you talk about, like, an NFL quarterback, and it's like, I don't, I, I don't want to knock on the guy. Like, the guy played in the league, right? Uh, it's just like 99. Like, where is this 99 coming from, right? Like, there's nothing really elite sticking out here other than this generic idea of 95 awareness. So maybe he's a much better quarterback to play against than with as a user. Like, maybe he's a threat when you're playing against the CPU whenever uh, the computer is Ohio State. You know, you've got this 95 awareness quarterback who can take off and be somewhat of a threat because 80 speed is not exactly scary. Not like 90 plus, you know, when you have like Vic and Lamar Jackson and all that, but it's still not bad. He can still move. He can still scoot around better than other guys. But he's also not going to launch 90 throwing power bombs or whatever, and he's not going to drop super 97 accuracy dimes and tight windows either. Like, he's just going to be good. So there you go. Brady Quinn also in the 99 club, and he's not getting it done on his athleticism at all. And he's got one extra awareness there. What's his throwing power and accuracy look like? 98 throw power. Seems a little high. Seems like something that you would reserve for the Jamarcus Russells and the Brett Favre's and the you know Jeff Georges and that kind of people of the world, the Drew Bledsoe's and all that. 98 seems pretty high. Maybe uh, Quinn had a cannon that I wasn't aware of. Seems like a guy that should be like in the 92 throw power range or whatever. Let's see what we find when we go to Madden. Uh, what they gave him as his throw power, but seems a little high. LaRon Landry had a solid career, 99 here, and Megatron himself, Calvin Johnson. You know the beast that he is, right? 97 speed agility acceleration on a 6-4 frame, the trucking, the elusiveness, 92 elusiveness, 97 ball carrier vision, right? Juke move 93, spin move 94, catch 95, jump 99, of course jump is 99. Like, man, it's just, this is a future Hall of Fame player, absolute legend, along with these two, and Patrick Willis himself. Well, it's not the 99 club, there's our defender, right? 
Yeah, so P. Willie. Now, here's the thing. We click edit player info, it's just going to be info. Like, I don't know anything about, like, equipment. If there's a feature to, like, edit equipment, I don't know what or where it could possibly be. But I don't think that was a thing in the 07 game. Madden either. Like, they just, they made the player look like how the player looks, and that's how it is. And you gotta live with it. So, just to save time, hope that didn't eat up too much time. Let's go to play now. And you know what will be fun? I did mention the Ohio State. But you know something else that's also a lot of fun? Is, um, Cal. Let's go L M N C. You can't... Here's the thing, on uh, the PS2, the Xbox 360, the original Xbox, you could, like, have your triggers, and you could skip by letters. So, like, the N, O, B, Q, R, S, like, you could just jump, 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 jump. Here you gotta go team by team, like, I can't just skip to O and all of that stuff. So, we're gonna go to, um, O for the Ohio State, right? That's what we wanna look at. Number one, the Buckeyes, okay? Now, I believe this is the game yeah, that has Marshawn Lynch at running back, Alex Mack at center, Deshaun Jackson at wide receiver for the Cal Bears. So let's go with Cal, and they're ranked 15. They can be on the road. And why don't we have Cal face off against that Troy Smith and see how well Troy Smith plays against us, right? So let's go the white tops, the Cal offense, all of that. Let's play with some varsity. Yeah, let's play just varsity basic mode. Two minutes. We got just some presentation, some pre-game, get some action out there, right? Or I mute myself whenever uh, they do their pre-game intro. We're in the Buckeye State at Ohio Stadium, the battlefield for this incredible college football matchup. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Golden Bears of California. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet in the EA Sports booth. We've got some great college football for you to kick off the new year. All right, that was actually a really smooth Let's transition. Let's send it down to the field from, now like, for the Coca-Cola coin the toss. Stadium, like, as if there was no loading necessary it was like already you know loaded up right all the assets and everything uh no players no focus no impact players you don't get to see any of the players like you do in madden remember madden 07 at least had the players running out on the field even madden 06 or whatever so to not see any players on the field or anything is pretty disappointing let's go with the classic tails never fails except for what it does let's receive the ball Ad placements. Not a fan of ad placements in a full price video game that you're paying for. Shouldn't have to deal with ads. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. Number game. two. And Hughes two. back to return. Here's the kick. And down he goes at the 20 yard line. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Now we don't need to look at the whole roster, but uh, let's go here strategy, depth chart. And yeah, you can see Marshawn Lynch, Lynchy, and Deshaun Jackson. And there's Alex Mack, the center. Right? Anything special on defense? Knee Bain was a talented player. Okay, and then uh, for the Ohio State, Vernon Golston sticks out to me right away as a starter. And let's go to offense. Troy Smith, obviously. Uh, this is not Michael Pittman, it's A. Pittman. Ted Ginn, Ted Ginn Jr., and Anthony Gonzalez. Future center, Anthony Gonzalez, huh? Alex Boone would eventually become a right guard. From left tackle to right guard, he'd become a right guard for the San Francisco 49ers. I believe Schaefer played in the league as well. So a couple offensive linemen. <laughs> Lee, what do you want us to do? In this situation, you got to trust the quarterback's decision-making. What do you expect from this running back today, guys? I'm thinking he's going to have a pretty good game. After all, he isn't exactly going against the best front seven in the nation. Yeah, but this defense is fired up to get him. 
All they've heard all week is how good this kid is. I think they're tired of hearing it, but what? But what? <laughs> but it won't matter. Oh, come on, you can't keep that in bounds. That was a good stop play call, Lee. That was a good play call, Lee. Like, we're going to hand it to Lynchy. And then the linebacker pulls back, and we let him pull back, but see, is he going to the sideline or not? And we've got this kind of bracket at A. There's a bit of a pass that we could have thrown to A, but I'm like, let's just check down. Let's keep it in bounds. Let's get a blocker in front of us, and let's run down the sideline. Can't keep it in bounds. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their stripes. I'd spread the ball around here. Keep no, I bet you would, but we need to spread some clock, huh? On the -yard line. Second down, I mean, I don't run the ball. It's like every first down is a play action or a pass, and every second down is a run. Lynch is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Longshore will hand it off. He's in the the four yards, keep us on schedule play gets four yards. Yards. That's what you want. That's what you want from your run game. That's a good old fashioned. They may run. be expecting pass here. So maybe a little sneaky draw play. Might no, work. Lee, I'm not gonna sneak in a draw play. All the receiving threats over the middle. Ohio State brings in their nickel package. He drops back. He throws left. And it's caught. He's That's taken right. Down. Little chain, little chain, little chain. I don't know why. The made a good looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw it. We got Lynchy. We got to feed him. On the -yard we play action to him. We fed him the rock up four yards. Now it's time to just actually run. Go watch this. He's tackled. And no block on the Lynch edge. Picks up a yard on the play, so that'll make it second down. No block on the edge, huh? I take it to the ground on this one. You got to be able to run second to win down. ball games. Ball on the 38-yard line. Little option, huh? Read the backside. Longshore is back in the gun. What? They're on the option. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Let's just drive the score on the offense on schedule here, huh? Just hand it off and get no blocks whatsoever. No block hitting help from the wide receiver. I don't know what's going on here with 61 and 58. They're not double teaming anything. And we just morph through players, right? Like human bodies don't exist or whatever, right? Just warping right through human beings. Something EA Sports like, this doesn't happen. The players, this doesn't happen. And it's like, yeah, this thing doesn't happen. We totally didn't see that completely live. And the replay is not lying to us, right? And they didn't just completely warp that, right? That didn't challenge. Happen. And converting this crucial it's first down is a time, challenge right? here. This play should work out very nicely. Okay, Lee, I'm listening to you. This is your ass Corso. High formation here. We got B to Sean Jackson. We don't want to force it. There's a the play fake. He rolls out to the right. Wow, what a mess! Jackson. Jackson. What a mess! Running through, like, I didn't even notice this was going to be a play action. Maybe he said it in the thing. Like, slow off the ball much? Everyone else is playing football while you're not even moving? And then the drag to run it this flat? I'm running it right into guys. Like, you don't even, like, adjust your play at all. Like, yeah, we could have just thrown to the fullback, but... Like, I'm just, like, running the play. I'm like, da 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 and I see it. I'm, like, not even, like, looking at the receiver directly. And I'm just like, okay, let me just throw it to uh, B. You should be coming across. A and receiver on that pass. Receiver on so that will make it fourth down. Okay, well. So they're going to go so for it here. Double Ohio lion. State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. Surveys the field. Rolls right. He's scrambling. Throws. Caught. To Lynchy. And he's brought down at the 22-yard line. How about that play? I like this call. Anytime you can present the threat of possibly breaking one wide open, you loosen up the defense a little. It'll be interesting to see how the defense adjusts here. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. Ball on the 22 yard line. So I've got this classic Madden 07 style, like pre. The Golden Bears come out showing stuff. three wide. It's not a play that we win. Longshore doesn't like what he sees. 
Lynch again. He's taken down. We're gonna run it anyway, but the uh, handbag picks up a yard. It's a snatch Play action. Play number nine of this current drive. Gonna go for the end zone with B. We don't have any um, hot routes, do we? Back to pass. Rose. He's got a touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Smash is a classic in the red zone. Classic in the red zone, especially if you high low it and run it out here. You run the quick out instead of this. That's why I wanted a hot route to a quick out. So you can high low it and fire it to the uh, the back pylon here. You just back pile on this. I mean, that's that's not front pylon, but you get the idea. Like he's running at an angle towards that pylon, right? And you're just like, there we go. Get it out there. Good old leverage. Scissors is also really nice when you got a safety like cheating up like that to take that away. And you can come up and you can undercut and a scissors instead of running this route or whatever. And he just breaks open to the post over the middle. And like you just chew the safety up. That's good he football. beat his man off the line and then ran a this perfect run. All he had to do exactly after that was make part. the catch. So presentation feel all that. It's not no seven but we call it He gets it up and he converts the okay. extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac <laughs> drive summary. All the presentation elements, everything. Schneider right. is lined up to kick this one off. Well, back to return. Said, and this hey, one's a short Madden kick. Six. Build college on top of Madden 6. Well, field of the team. He's the So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. That's sure what it looks like. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook. Yeah, contain. You got First yourself and ten, a All on their own 34. The Buckeyes baby. come out showing three wide. Smith drops back on first down. Throws. Way to look it in. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Snap on that chin strap and go out there and hit somebody. It's cover one robber. It's second and four. All in their own oh, point. They come out with three wide receivers. Let's it fly. Ooh, and he pulls it down. Ah, like I'll tell you, this there. receiver oh, showed really oh. good hands on that play. This kid is always going to make the ball. Too. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39 yard line. Two tight ends here. They keep it on the ground with a 10. Three yards there on the play. That was a great hit by the defender. He just dropped the ball carrier right to the ground. They can get some points and then the ball back. They can switch momentum. They can flip flop it on the Second down, eight yards to go. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. Pittman gets a call. It's a pitch, but Pittman got nowhere to go. Ohio State will take Trash. Trash-tacular. Look at that. Two pullers, and no one deals with 56. Like, he doesn't even exist. Not even acknowledged on a bump on the way through. Nothing. Time out of the hat. Cornerback blitz. We can't let it's third down and 13 to go. Three of the with a quick throw. And, and they couldn't hook up on that one. So, fourth down coming up. And give credit to the yeah, defense there. They played very it. disciplined and were able to break up the pass. You gonna punt it away here? It's fourth down. They come oh, out in a punt formation. Jackson is back deep to return the punt. He punts it. D Jack. Well, the offense heading yeah. back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. First We've got a ten. first and ten. Oh, California oh, sets oh, up oh. with four receivers. Can't audible. Want to send D Jack on the streak? Longshore. Step okay, we got pass. scenes. He's we got looking. nothing. We got he lets it go. Lynchy. Catches it. And he's taken down at the 27 yard line. California Seven calls a timeout. Eight. And they'll have two remaining. My key player. Deshaun Jackson. Ain't no one going to buy a play action from you. Ain't no one buying play action. Second and three coming up. Ball One man backfield. Seven yard line. Jackson motions to the left side. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Attacking the seam with a comeback to X. Okay, okay. What's that safety going to do? 
They're moving up. Looking. He rolls out to the left. Going long. Who's got it? Who wants it? He got a hand on it, but it's got his hand That's on it too, huh? Yeah, so here's like what I'm looking at. Is we got this comeback, but I don't like the way this is being bracketed. So that comeback is like dead. It's like as we watch them take off, it's like, yeah, they covered over the top, and that's what they need to do. But even over the middle, like the birds on a fence, right? Like maybe we can fit something in here, like. Time is not our friend, but we're also not, like, in so much danger. And it's, like, sometimes you just, like, screw it. DJX is out there somewhere, right? And you're just, like, NFL player, go make an NFL play. Didn't burn the guy. But it's, like, on your fingertips, D. Jackson. Terrible defense, by the way. Some of that is varsity, whatever. But it's just, Target. like, okay. You'll make it third down. Okay, okay, okay. Post wheel. It's third and three. Ball on the 27 yard line. We got one timeout remaining. That's how I read it. California comes That's to the line with three wide. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. He's in trouble. Long short. Get sacked for the long. This is, this is a mess here. One, two, three, four, five. Like just a classic step like that. Like the post was not going to be open like that. Like they're already just going derp 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 derp. It's like one two three four five. Also, that five step drop back is like way too fast. Right? It's like, and you're done. It's like throw the ball. Like no, nah, nobody's open at the end of this drop. I gotta turn it into like a little bit deeper step or something. Give me some protection. Make the guy beat you or something. But what is this? What even is this? They're like still going. Over here, they're like, we are in the college football and we're in a power program and we're inside the top 25 and we don't know how to run routes. Hey, cool, I guess, whatever. I'm assuming we got two timeouts and Ohio took it or something. All right. Fourth down. The Golden Bears line up to punt. Larson awaits the snap. And this one is a beauty. Again, fields into the 37. Right in he couldn't shake anybody. He Tackle. needs to go work out Teddy those legs a little bit. Right yeah, Coach, you're right. Pretty, right. Pretty good return. But if he could have broken yeah. that last yeah. tackle, yeah. that First might have been okay, big. Ohio State lines up with three receivers. Recommended was it? They'll throw on first down. He delivers. Against three he couldn't drag his feet. Incomplete. The quarterback aired it out, but too far. Yeah, great try by the receiver. Technically, he caught the pass, but he won't get credit for the catch because he was out of bounds. Second and ten. Ball on the 43. From the gun. Got three deep. Gonna get burned. Ten again. Troy Smith. Smith steps back to pass, throws this one out. Little launch. Number 80 was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up third down. They line up at the 43. It's third down. Smith is back in the gun. Smith drops to throw, fires it quickly. And this one could be on the defense. I don't know how much this is. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to show up that he earned that yellow flag, guys. Yep, he worked hard to break up that pass. A little too hard. First down, 10 yards to go. The Buckeyes line up with two tight ends. Smith, back to throw. He lets it go. Complete. Oh, gone. He just down the sideline. The 10. He's all the way. Better than the United States in Afghanistan, huh? Let's go. He knew what he wanted as soon as he got it and just took 19 out of his shoes. Buddy, what are you doing? You remind me of that YouTube show. Hey, man, I'm trying to protect against a slam, brother. I'm trying to protect against a slam, brother. Remember that YouTube short? Like, what is this? You get cooked. You get turned around, turned around. An absolutely smoke like a Christmas ham. 
down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Cool. Athletes got to do their job out there. And they're going to get the ball back up. And he adds the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. All right, kick return. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number two. Kicks it away. Number two fields it at the 11. For a half time show, let's go. And he's tackled at the 26 yard line. And we've got a tie ball game here, folks, and we pause for halftime. That's our halftime show, ladies and gentlemen. Two ranked teams. That's our halftime show. Resume game. California got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks off. No big play highlights. No generic well, commentary. Brock Brock down at the 25-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well, well on their last deep possession. We get on their way to the end zone. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quarterback hasn't tried to run it against us at all. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Pittman on the inside handoff. He's into the open field. They'll bring him down. Yeah, they can just methodically. That was a great drive call. Down. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Ten yards on the first run. Smith with three wide receivers. There's a shift by the linebacker. Overhang on the tight end. Back to pass. Under heavy pressure. What's up? Let's Smith. go! Where's your mobility now? There's nothing stopping the defense from getting the sack. Where's your mobility it's now, Smith? To throw the football when he has that kind of rush coming at him. The offense in a hole here after the sack. Second and long. One man backfield. Back to pass. Across the middle. Sending pressure and almost got the pick. We baited you. What's up? You got baited by the Masters. How often does a lineman get a chance at a pick? That might be the last chance he has in his career to get an interception, Coach. I call this one. The Scooter Special. Try it right now. Ball on the 27-yard line. We baited you, and we're the masters at that. Let's go. The Buckeyes have five receivers on this play. What? All right, we what? good, we good. Smith, back to throw. Surveys the one field. Hank, one He's Robert. looking for his man. Little Catches pitch down. And he's hit a check down, whatever. Oh, man, he doesn't get the first great play on the Robert defense. Little. Incredible. They saw the that TV coming spy. a mile away. I think you got to give your quarterback a little bit more time, Fourth especially on third down. Fourth down. Fourth down. The, the Buckeyes. The drive looked like he was going to go somewhere that first down run. They could just methodically go chunk, chunk, chunk. Take control. They had it. And then lost it. That's sad. Jackson, back deep to return. Big time plays, huh? Nearly picked. Good third down stand. Defense stepped it up. He punts it. Oh, yeah. It's looking backwards, Jackson. Really good. Jackson. Field the 29. Oh, 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 looks like the oh, offense has great. it. And that is a big, big turnover. It looks like to me that someone got the helmet on that ball. What a great spin move, too, huh? Do we have even the option to um, challenge that? I don't know the college rules like who can challenge that, but oh my goodness, you saw it! You all saw it. He was like, "Oh look, this there's there's my friends in the this is such a good video game, so well programmed EA." Spin out of it, and there it is. Pop it loose. Okay, yeah, it's not even close. I call this one the Scooter Special. The Scooter, Try it right now. Scooter it's special. first and ten. Ball on the twenty-six. Pittman lines up as a single back. The pitch. The and tackle for loss. The TFL. Well, was too much yardage that time. What do you think, Coach? I think you can't blame the back on that one. Second I don't care how good an athlete you are. You're not going to be able to showcase your abilities without some block. 
Smith on play action. He passes it, and he can't okay, hang on. Okay, an opportunity Brady for the intended target. For a bring him third down. AARP says go with this play. An experienced coach would want to run this play. The Buckeyes use motion. Double outside. Smith drops to throw. Surveys the field. He's looking for his man. It's complete. And he just let that down. happen. Cool. Why do we even have a safety back there? Why do we even have coverage back there? What is the point? He's literally in the middle of the field, and he's like, you know what? You know what I should do? Whenever they're threatening that inside leverage, we should run away from it. We should just let this body cross us and all of that. Like, oh, this is so good. Oh, no, why am I catching up when I had a complete leverage advantage? Long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. Edge thing got him earlier. You we have two minutes again? left to play in this game. Smith takes off to the right side. The linebacker shift over a little. Again with a carry. Yeah. One tackler. Oh, he got it all bottled up before he could go anywhere. That'll bring up second down. So in a different kind of blitz. It's Spider second down Man. and 12 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. They want to grind this block out, right? And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. The Golden Bears take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. And QB They'll line it up again on third down. They line up in an eye. Hitman gets another hand on. He's tackled. At the Second timeout line. called. Gain of two. The defense calls a timeout. That was their We got one timeout. Time now. And a minute something. More than an extra point. Just to get the a field goal. That score leads us to score. our Pontiac yeah. drive right zone. Down. Ohio That's State lines up for the kickoff. And it's off. Brought down at the point right. two. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Down to three, grind it out. Under two minutes to go. It doesn't get much more exciting than this, Kirk. First this is it. A field goal will tie it and a touchdown will most likely win. We can also Everything with comes down How to this possession. Long short. Drop back to that. Cover. He unloaded. Ryan the comeback. Incomplete pass. What Hawking. is that? Was that was the intended exactly receiver the on that. We needed. That was exactly the kind of play we needed. Like, we could have thrown to 11, but you don't want to hospital ball that. And look at the separation. You just catch it, you spin move out like they did, and you pick up chunk yards. So that'll make it second down. Complete a regular play. Uh, that's what you're going for. This are, these are your recommendations. This is also why the AI struggles, huh? They want all of these X options. From down. their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Longshore drops to throw. Looks. He throws it. Catches it. He's taken down at the 35. Well, we have first down, well, 10 go. to go. The clock doesn't stop 35. that for a first down. Is that Ohio State team? makes an adjustment on defense. Back to pass. He's under pressure. And he's hammered as he lets it go. There we go. Hey, look at it. How about the nice touch on that ball? Boy, that was up. a pretty pass. That's the type of throw you see from quarterbacks in the NFL. And it got him a first down as well. Let's it go. They connect again. And fellas, this is really turning into a very Bring impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. And more importantly, they've kept this defense on the field. That was so dumb. dumb. At the 18, it's first and 10. That was so dumb, and we can't watch the replay. I'm pretty sure the football went through the defender's body to then go. I'm 99% sure that ball went through the defender's chest. Right Maybe to my receiver, stop. and they won't uh, even let you go to an instant line. replay to show. They line up in the I red zone for the first exactly half today. Right. The defense is changing their play. They'll throw on first down. But there it is. Let's go. Just so now they have a three point lead, which will point. most likely Never turn into a four point lead after like the extra point, coach. Do you think that this team will be able to move the ball back down the field and put one in the end zone? Well, it's possible, but they're going to have to run one of the best two minute offenses that we've ever seen. If they can make it happen, then it would certainly be one of the best finishes that we've ever seen. He gets it up, and he hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Schneider looks ready to kick this one off. Maximum power. And it's a short kickoff. 
Yeah, like, I don't know. Are well, Welch kickers that short? Make the move. Kicker yeah, yeah, yeah. At the 28 yard line. Guys, what are you thinking at this point in the game? This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Kirk. If they don't score here, then they can call it a night. They'll throw on first down. Let's it fly. Complete. Will do. Tackle made at the 49 yard line. And a nice try to blitz that deep third corner. I tried to blitz him, and then we got cooked on it. Because that was our deep coverage, right? Good, smart play out there, huh? Tried to throw Yeah, this is what I there. like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He's under pressure. Throws down the middle. Batted away. I'm a little surprised Eight that he seconds. dropped that one. Oh. I am too, but don't take anything away from this defense. That was a perfectly timed hit. There wasn't much the receiver could do that time. He had a man in his face as soon as he touched the football. Second and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He drops back, and he throws right away. And it's caught. Got it. He's tackled at the 28. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Out, right? The Buckeyes call for a timeout, and they'll have two the remaining. The clock wasn't moving that whole time, and then they get the timeout later? Like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. Okay. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. So this is it right here. One last play and one last That's chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail shot. Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. So this defensive skirmish is all over. Kirk, what would you think of this one? I was impressed with both teams out there, but the difference in this game came down to execution and playing mistake-free football. Ohio State had a lot of chances in this one, but a number of costly mistakes squandered those opportunities. Eliminate the errors, and this one could have gone the other way. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2007. Our final score here today, the California Golden Bears, 14, and the Buckeyes of Ohio State, 10. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody. Thank you for attending. All right, so um, quick review. We're like 40-something minutes in, and it's like, okay, we're going to go game by game. We're just chilling here today. Um, presentation, everything. It's just Madness 7 with college skins on top of it. Not recommended. Um, it's a good foundation to build a better game. And it doesn't even compete with the PS2 era games. Like, not recommended. Not trash. Not recommended. I think I'm only going to keep it on my hard drive for the nostalgia of the old school uh, rosters. To look at the effort that I put in to get the rosters. But not something recommended to even try. If you want to, you want to spend your time and waste it like I did, go for it. But uh, it's not worth messing with slider settings and everything else to improve the experience. Now. Here we go with NCAA football, 08, okay? And, uh, yeah, Tim Tebow is not officially on the cover, but you know that's him on the cover, the 15 from Florida. You know, the ball in the left hand carrying it, like it's super obvious that Tebow is here on the back of the cover, right? Okay, um, is that like Jamal Charles or something uh, up there? Yeah, so we can't really clearly – read all of this regardless like i believe it's a canadian cover because it looks like it's got french and english on it and it says lead by example and features and blah 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 um the intro to 08 is like a features thing it's not even like a true intro so it's still nice because you can tell that this just like madden 08 which remember like i dumped madden 6 and 7 like, i don't even want that stuff on my hard drive Right. I'm only keeping NCAA 07 on my hard drive primarily just the nostalgia of looking at rosters. Right. Um, which I can also do, honestly, on the original Xbox. So I don't even know if I want to keep that. But just so I feel 08 is the true, not launch title, but like the true title that you can play Madden. 
um, and then everything else gets better. I'm not saying Madden 08 supersedes the uh, original Xbox and the PS2. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like it's the first one that's like legitimately playable. I think that's going to be a lot true here. Like this one is legitimately like playable and fun. So let's watch the intro to Madden 08. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to uh, hit the head and do everything that needs to be taken care of. And that'll get us through the intros, all right? EA Sports. It's in the game. Hello and welcome to NCAA Football 08. I'm Chris Fowler, and I'll be your guide through this tutorial as we go through some of the new features in this year's game. College football is all about celebrating your achievements and showing off your accomplishments. In NCAA 08, you'll be able to do just that with the all-new edition of My Shrine. Here, you'll be able to fill up your trophy cases with trophies that can be won in Dynasty or Legend mode, as well as trophies that can be won during rivalry games. Learn about the trophies you earned and reminisce how they were won by selecting a trophy to view in greater detail. In addition to the trophies, you'll be able to relive your greatest moments with the new video and photo highlight feature. The more trophies you win and highlights you save, the more you'll be able to show off all you've achieved in NCAA 08. No one likes an empty trophy case, so get out there and start collecting your hardware. To the victor goes the spoils. If you've ever wanted to go back and relive that mind-blowing 80-yard touchdown run, or taunt your friend about the time you picked him off and ran it back for a touchdown, now you can with the new video and photo highlight feature. Now, your greatest plays and favorite moments can be remembered forever as you pick which highlights you want to save. During a game, each play is recorded and you can view them at any time by accessing the game instant replay screen from inside the pause menu. Here, you'll be able to select any play in the drive summary to view the replay. You can view as many plays as you want and you'll be able to save up to five videos. In addition, photos will be automatically generated that capture the key moment from the top plays. These plays are not automatically saved, so you'll need to make sure that you save the ones you want to keep. If you want to see the video highlight that a photo was taken from, you can do that by selecting the photo from the My Highlight screen in the pause menu. You will still be able to take manual photos as well. Just access any replay and take a photo of anything you want. You only have access to each video replays and auto photos while you're in the current game, so make sure you save any highlight you want to keep before exiting the game. Video highlights will be able to be uploaded to the web from the game highlights screen so you can share a replay file with your friends. If you've ever wanted to skip ahead to a later point in the game, then the new Super Sim feature is what you've been waiting for. Super Sim allows you to advance to your desired spot in the game. Don't like to play defense? Access the Super Sim feature from the pause menu to advance to the end of the current drive. Up by 40 in the second quarter? Let Super Sim play out the rest of the game. You can watch the progress of the game and jump back in at any point. Super Sim allows you to take control and participate in the plays you want to. That wraps it up for this tutorial. For an in-depth look at other features like Legend Mode, the revamped Recruiting Dynasty Mode, and the additional gameplay features like Motivation Level and Trick Plays that are new to NCAA Football 08, check out the other tutorials. Good luck and enjoy NCAA Football 08. All right, talk about a long intro. It's, it's not even an intro. It's basically the what's new feature tagged in as our intro, which should have just been something that you click on, but I guess they want to show it off to anyone who turned on the game and not risk you missing it, but it's just, it just doesn't stand the test of time. That's a good intro, right? So, Boise State, let's go on the cover of Jared Zabransky himself. Let's go in here to the settings and turn down the volume. Settings, volume control. Because even though each time I try to turn this down and try to save it, it still doesn't want to save. Let's try it again. Quick save everything. It says none. There's nothing to save. Are you kidding? Like, uh, the settings I just put together, like... That's probably the part of the problem there. Okay, um, yeah, the visual presentation is nice. 
you know, before we had it in the play now, it would like preload the uh, stadium. Oh, it looks like that's what it's doing here too. This one's okay, interesting. Let's go to um, where is it? My NCAA team management. I guess I'll get to go through here and like dig through all kinds of things. So Boise State is on the cover. It's not news. It's just let's go. As I said, like trick plays and all that, especially with that uh, 2007 Fiesta Bowl, with the multiple trick plays, like they knew that they had to make this part of it. So, the 99 Club only has three members now. <clears throat> Glenn Dorsey, the defensive tackle slash nose tackle, 299 pounds, 6'2", for the LSU Tigers. And Tim Tebow from the Florida Gators. Former Heisman Trophy winner, right? It says sophomore, like his freshman year was the previous year, and it's like he's already a 99. Now, these are from Operation Sports, so maybe these are like end of the year, whatever, um, adjusted rosters. Like, I don't know who's responsible for all this stuff, but this is the community rosters that no one seemed to have a problem with. Like the final updates, whatever, that still exist and are accessible to this day. And Run DMC is in the 99 Club. Now, rounding off in the top players, we've got Chris Long, we got Cedric Ellis, Kenny Phillips, Calais Campbell, who's still in the league this year, the 2023 season of the NFL. He's still in the league. And here he is as a junior redshirt, his fourth year in college. Calais Campbell is in the game. And you notice there's always like helmets, helmets, helmets that don't even show the faces. If I click edit player, what kind of screen do we get? We get to see the player here. They've got their equipment and everything. It says bio, first name, last name, left-handedness, where they're from, all of that stuff. 6'3", blah, blah, blah. Arm, build, belly, all that kind of adjust their build. That's really nice. I don't see anything about, like, hairstyle in terms of having, like, dreadlocks or something. Not that Tebow has them, but if there's a player you want to put dreadlocks on. Like, um, what is it? Richard Sherman? Like, it's just not a thing that you can do that I don't see here. Equipment, all of that, and uh, it's this tendency scrambler. It's just like something that's applied to them. So you've got your ratings across the board. We're going to back out because we're not going to save any changes there. And you can see the 86 speed and the agility acceleration. It's like, again, a standout super athlete? No, just a talented guy for college football. Eisman Trophy winner, all that. That's why I think that that's the way this is. I don't think these are the default rosters out of the box. I don't think they came out. They may have a 99, but they could have. Um, 86 awareness, all of that. 92 throwing power, 90 throwing accuracy. Like, not that dissimilar from what we saw with Troy Smith, honestly, right? A little bit more athleticism in some areas, like the 86 speed agility size, I think are higher. Lower in the awareness area, higher in the trucking and some other aspects. And a little bit higher in that throw power, 92 versus like 90 or whatever. The accuracy 90 may be a little too hot for Timmy, but it is what it is. We're not going to dig too far, but who are the other top quarterbacks? Tebow, Dixon, Brian Braun. Colt Brennan, rest in peace. If there's any other player here that's rest in peace, I don't know. Let me know. Pat White's in here. Chase Daniel. Go check out the Chase Daniel YouTube page as he breaks down NFL films. He's out there. Running backs to take a look at. Run DMC. Slayton, Mike Hart, Ray Rice. We know what happened to him. His off-the-field problems. Jonathan Stewart, Rashad Newman, who later becomes a Pittsburgh Steeler. Uh, Kevin Smith, no, not the person who makes movies. It's like he's uh, he's an actor in Clerks, and he's running the ball for uh, UCF, right? Okay. Um, top wide receivers here. Again, the draft has already happened, so you're not going to have Calvin Johnson, right? But you've got Malcolm Kelly, Sweet, Mario Manningham, D. Jack, Sean Jackson, early Doucette, not late Doucette, it's early Doucette, uh, Earl Bennett, and so forth. Any top tight ends worth looking at? Um, Beckham, Rucker, Santi Davis, Bennett, Carlson, Kaufman, like, not really huge names right now to take a look at. Any big-time pass rushers? 
Uh, they're not to disrespect offensive line. I'm an offensive line guy myself. But, yeah, we got Chris Long, Tyson Jackson. Yeah, Tyson Jackson and Glenn Dorsey was like a super duo that everyone had a lot of hype for uh, coming out of the draft and into the NFL. Both went to Kansas City. The Chiefs got both Jackson and Glenn Dorsey, and they did not pan out. And this is a team with Tamba Hali and other really good defenders, so you can't say it's like it was coaching or whatever. Like they got Tamba Hali and Derek Johnson and other guys to play really good ball, but Tyson Jackson and Glenn Dorsey just did not take that next step that many people hyped them up and expected them to make. There's Clays Campbell, who we already mentioned. Vernon Goldston, Shaughnessy, our defensive tackles, there's Glenn Dorsey, as we said, Cedric Ellis in those top end clubs, and no one else really sticks out as like a big name as far as like starters and all of that. Uh, no big name outside linebackers. How about Mike's, Dan Connors, all right, Ray Maluga, and James Laurinaitis as solid Mike's right there. Keith Rivers, Wesley Woodyard, right, Geno Hayes, like solid players in the NFL. And Mike Jenkins, Malcolm Jenkins, all of that. Again, like not a lot of like huge names here in terms of like NFL fame. And some of the guys that became NFL famous are like buried here on this depth chart, right here, Point Museums. And uh, let's look at the safeties real quick here. Yeah, not really anything. Zibikowski was like a name at the time. Punters Kickers. Ryan Suckup was the uh, Mr. Irrelevant. Kansas City drafted him with the last pick in the draft, and he ended up playing really well as a kicker, not a legend, but solid. Garrett Hartley. Um, isn't Hartley the one that uh, helped send the Saints to the Super Bowl? This is 08. So, cover of 11 is the Saints, which means it's the 2010 season, the 2009 season is when they went. So, yeah, this is Garrett Hartley, yeah, that sent the Saints to the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. Punter time! Brian Colquitt. Okay. So, uh, there are no changes. Discard any that you think that we might have made. Okay. And, no. Yeah, you sure you want to? Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. It's got the whack up there in Nevada and all of that in the uh, the banners. No, I don't want to save any changes. My goodness. Okay, um, play now. Who should we play as? We should probably play against Tim Tebow, right? I don't want to play as Boise State. Right? Play against Tim Tebow for fun. Who do we want to be? I want to look at quarterbacks. Do it at rosters. I mean, I know we looked at stuff, but it's like, let's play against Tim Tebow. We can play as him as well if we wanted to. Over again. Oregon would be nice, huh? Oregon would be solid. Colt Brennan of Hawaii, even, too, huh? Does anyone have, like, a good, like, combo? Yeah, West Virginia. Pat White and Steve Slayton. Yeah, that would be pretty solid out there, huh? Oh, but Oregon with Jonathan Stewart. And, yeah. Yeah, Oregon... I didn't even make any changes, I just looked at stuff. Are you kidding me? Florida versus Oregon. Oh, we gotta see what Oregon's uniforms are like, right? Because I don't think they have much here. So we gotta go step by step. Oregon, click A. Emerald, green tops, white tops. Yeah, they don't even have much of an option. 
We're gonna be Florida versus Oregon. Who should we be? We should be the underducks. I mean, underdogs. Play against Tebow. Two minutes. One of the toughest places to play. Listen to the intro. Bet it's going to be more of the same, though. Looks like the field is like already preloading like this. Yep. That's still smooth, though, isn't Outson it? Outson Stadium That's on smooth. the campus of the University of Oregon is where these teams will do battle today. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Oregon Ducks and the Florida Gators. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler, and with me, as always, Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. Happy New Year from all of us at EA Sports. This hey, one should be a fun up. game to watch. Oregon can do so many things on defense thanks to this young man. He can be the eighth man in the box, or he can play man coverage. And I expect everyone to know his name after this game is over. All right, guys, thanks. My Let's send it down out of the coin toss so we can just about get this thing offensive going. Offensive lineman for Oregon, I believe, like 1989 range. Uh, so let's go ahead and receive. We're Don't ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening the kick. Name. And there's yeah. the opening boot. Trying to recruit guys to uh, go Stewart to Oregon. Stewart takes it to 12. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. Okay, let's be honest here. Like, if we look at this, a lot of this looks, a lot of it looks and feels like ESPN 2K3. Like, bro, go play 2K3. Like, you think I'm hating. But seriously, this looks like 2K3. It looks like 2K3 Part 2. It looks like this is what 2K4 would have looked like. Like in the good and the bad way. Like that's how beautiful the 2K games were. But it's like, look at that. And something else I want to point out here. Like when the character models disappear. Okay. He vanishes about this length away. Because when we go to look at like uh, 12 or something. Even this close, they just vanish. It's pretty bad. But don't they look cartoonish out here? I mean, the uniforms are a bright color and everything, but don't they look cartoonish? I don't know. Some ways it looks better, and some ways it doesn't. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun with two tight ends. Back to pass. Looks. He throws it. It's broken up. It looked like the quarterback thought he interesting. Open receiver the there. Receiver. I don't think he's linebacker. I don't know how you could miss him. He's huge. And he interesting. The way he just kind of moves like that. Like he glides. It feels like we're sliding and they just have foot. Like the feet don't look like they're really on the ground. Like look at the way that that front up foot is. Like the game constantly doesn't feel like you're on the ground. You're just sliding around and then like the legs happen to move or whatever. Couldn't lead it to the right, huh? As we're breaking away. I mean, could have thrown the check down, but my goodness. It was a Dino. very, very nice play. You got to pound it and pound it inside until the defense calls for mercy here. From their own 35-yard right, line. Top quarterback. It's second down. Oh, another thing that we have to talk about here, if you're still watching, if you go to um, settings, game controls, no. Select control. We cannot just do, yeah, you have to pick a side. You cannot do computer versus computer play. They motion to the left. So blockers. And a pile of four Stewart gets a carry left side. They'll bring him down at the 41. Stewart gets six yards on the play. Third and four. Ball on their own 41. The Ducks line up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers are split out. 
looking to throw. Surveys the field. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it fly. And it's the senior. Still on his feet. And they finally push him out at the 34. That pass good for a first down. Yo, Kirk, did you throw that ball that hard back in your old Buckeyes days? Are you kidding me? Of course I could. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. No triggers the Florida pitch. brings in the nickel here. Went out your blocks. Here's an option, right Take side, it. elateral. It. And Run down it. you go at the 31-yard line. Stewart picks up around three on the speed option there. From the 31-yard line, second down. So we've got RB Florida up there. Lines up the with five defensive line. backs. We can throw the drag if it's taken away. Looking to throw. He steps up. He Get passes it. Out there. it. Let's go. Incomplete what pass. Kind of he tried right? to hit his. What kind of placement and attempt by the receiver? Both of those things right there. Just run and get it. What are you trying to do? Like a pirouette? What are you doing trying to pirouette this ball? Just keep running normal. You're like, oh, I'm going to do this crazy catch animation instead of just like catching it like a normal human being. And also, I'm pressing lead left. My goodness. Stride, but overthrew yeah, it a little too much. That'll come forward. in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. They'll line it up again on third down. Oregon running. comes out with two tight yeah. ends. Lion and Dragon. Dragon on the left, Lion on the right. Dixon drops back. He's going to try and scramble. He flings it left. Complete. He's hit and taken down. Nice. Yeah, they definitely had QB with spy the right there. Oh, Not right. if you're the defense. Definitely went full QB spy there, huh? Like you can see that defender, right? They had QB spy here with 32, and they had QB contain uh, here on the edge. Like they're not going to let us run for those yards. But, yeah, you've got Dragon here on the left, and it's, like, totally taken away. And then Lion, like, because of the quarterback positioning, it's just, like, it's mostly taken away across the board. Like, they had the answer. For a dragon lion, and it was just like, okay, pull him off, and just still launch it. That time they thought they had to play pretty well covered, but this quarterback does a spectacular job throwing this ball on the money right in there. Yeah, and physically, this guy's as good as anybody when it comes to arm strength. He's a very gifted athlete. Pistol. Here's the option. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Well, he just couldn't that one. If anything there. What no was brand. that for a block on the edge? What was that? 75? Like, maybe I should press the pitch button super early, but at four, like, you're not taking care of any business out here. 71, 60, like, there's nothing. There's no blocks. 57, 61, like, nobody is helping. I got three linemen, 60, 61, 57, doing nothing out of here, 75. I have one block. 71 is the only one that put up a block. Five offensive linemen, four of them not blocking. Like you say I should pitch, but it's like, what what was that? And I think what? the offensive line is going to have to hold Dixon? their blocks longer like, than they did not, on that you know, play. Take it's second one and 11. Or like, what's going on, And this boys? is the eighth play of the drive. They line up in the pistol. Three wide receivers in the formation. Dixon, options out, and they make the stop right around the 12-yard line. More of a mess out there, more of a mess. 57 just got beat, though. He just got worked, but 61, I don't know like what these boys are doing. We can't pitch it, and we can't get the block, and we just kind of wiggle, 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 wiggle. Like, this game is so ugly like this. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. It's not satisfying. Dixon gains about fun? five yards on the fun. option play. Like, is it fun? The offense lines up trying to convert on third down here. The Ducks line up with three receivers. The quarterback's in the shotgun. We've played a quarter, and we're all tied up. The score is tied. Come on, Lee. What are the plays you're calling? Tell your kids that this is where they earn their stripes. Yep, a little scissor action. So far right? this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third Probably down. Probably throwing the Y. Depending on how the safety pulls, we might be able to go to B. Dixon drops to throw. Throws off balance. 
into coverage, wow, and the defense has it. Dumb. Has some daylight. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. That ball placement is garbage. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block it. Way garbage. Like back pylon. Like throwing behind the receivers. Like 97 or whatever overall quarterback. Lead it to the right. Like I press, lead to the right. Like you use your left thumb stick, you lead to the right. And he throws it down and behind, like inside his hip or whatever. Instead of throwing the ball like way out here. Like, yeah, he deserved to intercept that. But like as a user, it's like we're throwing to this like in out here. It's like, what is this throw? Like, he had the leverage and see, yeah, 14 is like, I don't care about the scissor route. We're going to cut this off. Like, this is super bracketed. Like, in the end, this is probably the right, like, read here. That back pylon up there. But it's like, you're cutting through. You beat your man 33, not 33, 23. You beat your man 23, and you've got leverage here on 19. You're going in your direction while he's at, like, not a full stop, but he's at this position, and you should be running full speed out there. You should be able to throw it out here. And instead, you throw it from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook. Like, I'm going to throw that ball, like, 10 times out of 10. The Gators with a stack backfield. Positioning is just garbage. <laughs> Tebow makes the handoff. Swatted away. Casey was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it second down. AARP says go with this play. Second down. They'll line up just in front of their own end zone. Florida lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. We well, got a safety. And that sure changes the dynamic of this game, guys. Yep. The defense did it all by themselves. Now they have a two-point lead all because of that safety. That's a huge play by these guys. Forcing a safety to give your team the lead and get the ball back is what some of these defensive players dream of. Apparently, I played a ranked game of this. I never had any other achievement unlocked. That's Florida wild. will be punting this one on the free kick. I don't kick. even remember doing this game. How did I even get that achievement? He spins around. And he's tackled at the 49. So let's see how the defense will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. They'll start this drive at the 49-yard line. Dixon with three wide receivers. So we got levels coming across with also kind of a smash concept. And we've got all kinds of concepts here. Dixon drops back on first down. Complete. Just and the they get three yards on that little reception. Maybe an extension of the run game. So, yeah, it's not exactly a smash concept. I guess he gets up here and then cuts us an end, right? But it's supposed to play with that idea of, like, a smash concept. But see how he's running his route, and the tight end hasn't even run the out yet, right? So, like, if he were to curl here, and then we have, like, a curl-flat combination, but we don't have a curl-flat combination, we have no kind of a levels like an inverted levels combination, because a lot of levels is like the inside guy runs up at a higher route and then cuts across, and then the outside guy runs a shorter route. But it's like an inverted levels or whatever. You've got kind of like a dagger almost, like um, like this route here. Yeah, they're running into each other. <clears throat> but that's like a longer developing play. The biggest thing is, is as they drop off, and you see that they're not fully committed, to covering the running back and you leave open space, you're just an extension of the run game. It technically counts as passing yards because it's a forward pass, but it's just like a pitch to the right. He ran so a good move on this play, and the timing of the pass was good, run. and they were able to get a nice gain. From the 43 yard line, it's second down. The defense sets up in the nickel. Here's the option. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. I'd run the option right here. It's one of the hardest plays to defend. 
Dixon lines up in the shotgun. Dixon running the option. He laterals. Broke away from one. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Gain of four on the play. Second down and six. The Ducks line up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers are split out. Hot route. Hot route. The Ducks changing their play at the line. Dixon, back to pass. Throws a bullet. Look at that ball placement. It's terrible. Oregon. And a nice. I don't care that I score. What is this ball placement? Like, I know how to throw the football in this game. I press the Y button and then I lead the thumbstick to the left. But look at that. I mean, we're supposed to be throwing to pylons here. <clears throat> look, he stops his route. He's at an angle. He throws it and like he stops the route because it's like this ball is so inside. I'm pressing lead left, like super lead him out here to make the catch. And he leads it inside. Like it's inverted, like as though pass. That's what it feels like, bro. It feels like the pass lead is like opposite of what you push, right? Like I lead outside and he led inside. And then whenever I threw this one outside, lead outside, he led inside as well. This is garbage like I don't even want to keep going but I want to see the half receiver show. for the touchdown I kind of want to go into practice mode and just try pass lead you're near the red zone you got to keep an I'm eye for this guy they love going out. to him down here that was and a very nice route by the receiver he made one out. cut on the post oh. route and that was it he caught a beautiful ball and he got his team six points because Here's the extra no point that will make it a two-score game. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Decent kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. And now the offense makes its way onto the field. And he's hoping that this time the drive goes forward, not backwards. The offense will take over at the 32. First and 10. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Number one, Robert. Tebow, back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Thurman, picks it up. Reverses his field. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Not a good decision there. So, an incomplete on a play action, a safety, and that. And running against the grain to, like... Look at that, though. This is, like, this has got to be part of the, the game's mechanics of accuracy. It's like throwing behind receivers, right? He can't throw, like, out in front. Like, at this point, I feel bad for it. Throw that pass. Well, this is a good job by the corner of this sitting back like and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising show. coverage as well. This because quarterback is this a gamer. He comes to play every game. Water. Pitches right. Can't be like, oh, let's see what and he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Stewart gets about game four yards four on the toss. On the as a player, you got to get out of bounds or get the first down in order to stop the clock. You know, in college football, the clock is stopped when the chains are moved on first down conversions. Hey, you say that, but that's not what was working. Second down, seven yards to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it's right down the middle. That's on show. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. So we've played two quarters. The score here in Eugene, the Oregon Ducks, 12, Florida, nothing. All right, so I'm going to be a real hot on this here. Um, visually, it is both better than 07, and otherwise I was dogging on it, saying it looks like 2K3 out there. Like it does though. Like it looks like like HD 2K3. No halftime show. I don't know what is up with this whole throwing stuff. Like I want to go into practice mode. I want to go see like a high accuracy quarterback. You edit rosters. 
two Vs, the entire country, and let's go uh, throwing accuracy, let's go sword. Brian Brom, Chase Daniel, yeah, the Chase Daniel show. Let's go, Chase Daniel show. Hope Brandon, rest in peace, Brian Brom, huh? Do they even have, like, throwing medium accuracy, like, throwing short and all that stuff? I don't see any of that. Like, short, medium, deep accuracy, I don't see any of those ratings here. So, yeah, the Missouri Tigers. Chase Daniel Show. Do it. Let's go to game modes. Let's go to practice. Let's go offense and defense. Missouri Tigers. Where's Pittsburgh? Let's just practice some throws. Like, I want to jump to the next game probably about as bad as you do. I want to practice some throws here, huh? I might even publish this video and then continue with the next games. Get some views in like an hour and a half here for y'all. That's a smooth transition, though, I gotta say. Uh, play type. Standard pass. Let's get us a smash play up in here, huh? Some outbreaking smash accent action. Smash 4. There you go. Pass Corso. Two men under. Right? Some Y button. Okay, so... Draw back. And they're still not ready to throw, like... Let's do, like, just a straight drop back and press 1. Don't care about the results, just, like, the timing of the play, right? Alright. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. You can feel it. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven step drop. Hits the back of the drop. Ready to throw. Five and a hitch. It's just straight seven. And look at this. Like, it's not really leading the receiver. Look at the trajectory. Like, he's going to outrun this ball. Right, just the straight V line of a ball. And watch the receiver. Like he's gotta stop, he's gotta twist his body around, and the ball is like behind instead of out in front so he can run and do something with 94 accuracy. That was lead left. That was lead left. I don't know if I'm pressing left too early, if you have to hold it. I don't know if you gotta hold it the whole way through, because that time I didn't hold it the whole way through and I didn't like what I saw is it's just like a placebo effect. Because again, look at this position. And then he kind of spins in place, waiting for the ball to get there. Versus that. That's how you lead a guy. Right? Like, that makes all the difference in the world. The fact that matters, I can't just throw this as the normal pass. Right? Again, you can see the trajectory. Where is the receiver? Like, you can see the path and the flight of the ball. Right? If we, like, zero in on the flight of the ball. And where's the receiver? Like, he's way to the right of it. He's got to, like, go and get that ball. You know? Like, we lead it properly. This should be, like, the normal throw. For, like, 94 accuracy, this should just be the normal placement. Right? If anything, we should be able to lead left on top of that so we can really get out there and get it. But that's the point of the, a lot of those throws. Like, the game making me look, like, worse than I am, right? Ah! 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 Ah!
mine too. It's like on his back hip. Look at ball trajectory. Like, yeah, that's back hip. Look at that. He's like waiting for it to be put in his pocket. That literally go through his body. In his hands. In through his leg. Out the butt. Uh, sir, for a second there, we had to go take you to the hospital because your leg consumed the football. Really trying to lead that thing. Maybe not a bullet? Like, I don't care what the guy's tipping it, just looking at ball trajectory. Regardless of where the defenders are physically standing on the field, like I tried lob and lead to the right, and look how he spins around and everything is bad. I don't care about him catching it. I don't care about it intercepted, whatever. Like, look at that trajectory. That's not good. That's not what we want. It's unreliable. Yeah, you can't even rely on like the body position of all those ideas. Right there. I'm pressing lob and leaning left. That worked. I tried lob and lead right. Try more of that, and he's constantly having to go back. That is why I threw that peak before, because the trajectory and the ball placement is just atrocious. Let's go settings. Let's go um, general gameplay. No, the AI. Like, what if you were just like this perfect, you know, 100% accuracy... Um, now you can as a quarterback. Still not where I want it, though. Yeah, not where I want that ball to be put at all. It's like the game's version of what perfect accuracy is still not where you want the ball to actually be put. Where was just the play smash fork here? Sometimes you gotta reset the plays. Make you be spicy a little high. That's a one, that's 100 accuracy out of the 94 accuracy, the most accurate quarterback. That was pass lead left with the um, lob instead of the bullet, right? Lob, pass lead left. Chase Daniel show. Outstretch hands. Drop. I don't like that ball positioning. Let's try to uh, respot the ball. Always coming back for it. Like, oh, I just scored a touchdown. Oh, I scored a touchdown. Like, no, like, this ball placement is bad. Look at that trajectory. Look at where the, the receiver is, like, outrunning the position of the ball. Throwing to the right is garbage. <laughs> Hey, they call him Chase Daniel, not Catch Daniel, right? <laughs> you don't chase that guy, but I didn't say he was going to catch him. I switched off for the computer, so sorry to do you dirty there, Chase. Big fan of the work Chase does. Like watching him play. 
big fan of the work that he does after his career uh, playing the sport. Yeah. They call him Chase Daniel, not Catch Daniel, right? Make him dog on the man for the video game. Come on! Uh, Look at that ball placement, it's trash! Uh, it's constantly behind, even pressing lob, leading out on the right. Like, bro, I ain't even dogging on number 10. Lob and lead to the right. It's just so bad. Like, I don't know, they like, try to overthrow it, like, to the 10. Somewhere to the pylon, something, bro. Like, come on. And then there's like the intersection working too. Like, I'm not saying this is the right read and this is how you break down the defense and not that much. Like the ball placement is. It's cheeks, bro. It's cheeks. Okay. So, y'all, I had enough of eight. I ain't even about saving this. If it says, like, saving settings, it best not say anything about saving settings. Okay. So, I know that there are fans of this game out there. I know there's someone that uh, did a video playing, like, all, like, NCAA from, like, 99 to 2014 or whatever, and then they were, like, like, a Zoomer or whatever, like, you know, they were, like, 10 years old or something when this game came out, but, no, it's cheeks, bro. I mean, is it better than seven? I guess I was. I'm knocking on this game more than I'm knocking on seven, but this is not for me. It is not for me. And we're like at an hour and a half, so I think this is a good time to uh, not end today's gaming session, but to post like two games up, and then maybe we can do some uh, nine and ten, and we can do some other games. But uh, Happy New Year's, and I hope you join me in part two so that we chunk this up, okay? See you on the other side.